Christmas Village 2021 full tutorial series. When you are on a six month long project, many, many times you struggle to stay focused, to follow your original vision without derailing. And you may lose, no, you will lose your creative flair and the faith in your abilities. Momentarily, luckily, then the little craziness embedded in every true passion takes over once again and new inputs restart flowing. Good new inputs, bad new inputs, who knows? Well, well, well. Um, I told you some times ago that I can't stand with this two clear color here and with all these gray around here, gray. I don't feel comfortable with having so much light color here. I will go with some gray and I prepared uh, a little amount of very, very light gray, but it's somehow darker than what I have currently on the uh, handrails here, on the baluster and on the steps there. Very impossible <laughs> job, especially because all is glue there and I will have to pay much more attention on what I'm doing. First thing, I will need to remove the statues there. I will go with some black dry brush. I will leave it uh, like this. The handrail uh, is more uh, grayish with some lighter spot here and there, but not that clear as it was before, even from the side there. Okay, you know, from the side, different colors. Uh, and uh, uh, not perfect as always, but I like it better this way than uh, previously with all the uh, absolutely too um, light color, light uh, ivory-ish color, okay? But uh, now uh, it's, uh, anyway, uh, just remember that I will also have some snow on the stairs, on the steps, so it will hide uh, something here and there. The function of the stairs is not to be functional, but only to be uh, good looking. Uh, okay, but uh, also the the baluster. I repainted the baluster with the same gray. Very difficult to paint there, especially because I don't have the place to go everywhere once the handrail is uh, glued on top of the balusters. So a uh, little problem here and there. Uh, anyway, uh, I will uh, continue with something else. Maybe I will go with uh, the statues. I will replace the... I will uh, put the, the statues where they belong. Then I will go with some more baluster and some more handrails here all along this. I can't live like that. People come here and ah, poof, they fall down. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, good. What? Good? No. Never good enough for me. 
uh, obviously the gray color here on the handrail, the uh, balusters and the stair steps is completely dry. But I've already told you that I'm not satisfied with this section because even if you can walk through without no problems, the nun can walk through, etc. and get very closer to the border. Imagine what happens if a Jimmy comes very silently behind her. Hey nun! She will get scared and risk to fall down because there is no fences there, there is no handrail, there is no baluster. It is time to correct that. And I've made some more uh, columns here. And uh, let me show you. I made eight more columns. And uh, they are the same type of columns uh, that you have seen me doing last two, two times. Yes, two um, parts ago there. And uh, I painted them uh, as always I do with these uh, little columns so with the black then some yellow, then some gray, then some brown, dry brown, but no dry white brush at all. And I also made some more uh, balusters there. Obviously, I still lack the handrails because I need the first to place all the balusters before cutting the right length of the handrails. Uh, I've uh, glued, that, glued the tacks, the pin tacks, Okay, let me remind you what I use it. I use it two uh, simply uh, cork wood board pins or tacks, and I've removed from one the metal pin there, and then I've glued them to one on top of the other, leaving one of the metal pin uh, visible there in place in order to uh, be able to um, pin the balusters into the um, the styrofoam. Then I painted uh, all the balusters in plain gray, uh, the same color I used some minutes ago for you uh, when I redid the color here on the uh, balusters there. And I've not used the same ivorish color I've used some uh, days, uh, no, some weeks ago initially. Okay, now, uh, what will I do? I will start with some uh, column here. Uh, let me just do this and do this. I need to, okay. Then I will place a column there. Maybe a little more there, okay. Then I will go with balusters. One each two centimeters, exactly the same uh, distance I've used here on the uh, stairs. Uh, two centimeters of distance between each of the pins. Okay, now I need to measure two centimeters each time. Let me place my metal ruler there. And then I will go. First one I will do at one centimeter there, then each two, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, sorry, nineteen, uh, here, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-seven, twenty-nine. And then once again, each two centimeters, so 22 and 24. And I will wait for the rest, okay? Now I will take some of my white glue and a, a little brush, and then I will glue the balusters uh, where they need to be glued. All right, let's go. Uh, oops, I don't think I am on focus. Here I have the uh, balusters with the pin and I will go with some glue. I surrender my heart I was yours from the start Together we will be stronger than all but never fall. You are my sunshine. Last 
last one here. Here, I will put the, the last one from here. Because I want another column here on the corner. All right. Then I will go 90 degrees there and I will follow the path for uh, the rest there. And so on with this uh, column, uh, a set of baluster, another column. Okay, I will leave uh, it for a moment to dry. Before continuing uh, the rest, I will try to uh, do the uh, end rail there. So I need my ruler and I need to measure how long it will be. This is 30. Not enough long. So I will switch there. This will be 35 centimeters long. 35 centimeters long with a groove in plain middle of the end rail. Otherwise, I will not be able to glue the end rail correctly and properly on top of the uh, balusters. Let me just explain another way. Here, if I place it right there, I don't like it. I need oof, I need to make a group there, uh, having a, a width uh, enough to hide the um, balusters there, and then I will glue the handrail on top of the balusters, not before. Good. Uh, obviously, I will need to glue, no, I will not glue them, I will use some double-sided tape in order to maintain in place the uh, columns there. Uh, I will go and prepare the mm, end rail. And obviously I will use the same width I use it here. So this is 1.8. 1.8 width end rail. Yes, 1.8. 1, 1 centimeters and 8 millimeters. 18 millimeters. Good. Okay, back to the uh, hot wire cutting table. Now the first groove is done here. Here I have the hand rail with the groove there. Okay, and I will place it right there. Okay. But first, I needed to paint it before gluing there. Uh, so I will continue with this. And maybe I will show you the final result with uh, uh, all of them. Very easy. Uh, I will uh, repeat these uh, three steps, columns, uh, balusters and entrail for here, the angle, the 90 degrees there. And then to the opposite side, uh, towards the opposite side, okay? All right, the last uh, section of end railings to add, and I will add it right here. Okay, some glue on top of the balusters. Some glue in the groove. Okay, some glue in the groove. And then some glue here on the final part here. And then I 
will slide it there. And I will use some tacks as I use it there, pins or tacks to them. Okay, then I will add this here. And then I will go right there. Okay. I just needed to add some double sided tape here on the base. to choose the right angle here there and then I will place it here first some glue on the border here Okay, and another pin. And now I wait for the glue to dry. baluster and rails here I'm going very quickly because I still need to do the final recap but hey here we go with the four uh, side there okay and now oops I have oops there and now no more problem of falling down, okay? Um, this is too dark, this is lighter. I will try to fix this before going ahead, okay? Be right back. Good. Uh, what I did, I had one more layer of black, then I've used the same uh, mix of uh, gray and white I've used here for the handrails. This time I've used it on top of the black and they are similar now. Then I've uh, repainted also here and there the steps to match the gray, okay? And this is whole, I think, too much. Okay, um, done, 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 done. Okay, and rain, etc., etc. I leave it for the final recap. Now I just need to clean a little bit everything here because I have a mess there. Oops, oops. I have a mess and um, I will introduce another important thing, at least for me. Sometimes I appear uh, at the very beginning of this part 11 of the 2021 series, I've told you about new inputs. 
still don't know if they are good or bad. And uh, the last time I told you that my intention was to add a mountain here uh, using my uh, rock paper. Uh, I generally use my uh, rock paper to mask big uh, difference of age between one level and another or to mask uh, the uh, railroads down there. Uh, right now, without any rock paper, I can place maybe one, two, three buildings right here. And maybe, uh, maybe, I don't know, yes, or I can place one building, two buildings, and nothing here, one building, two buildings, nothing here, or one building, two buildings, nothing here. One of these new input is telling me to modify my original intention, <coughs> sorry, concerning this fourth and the half level I have here with a difference of level of 80 centimeters from the third level here and just 4 centimeters from the fourth level. This is 4.5 level. Here, adding something, something crazy. I've already done something similar in past, during the past seasons, uh, four, five years ago, I think. <laughs> Nothing was filmed then. And uh, uh, I have some space, some in unused space, some wasted space here. Now let me just move this a little bit back there, okay? Uh, I will fix the uh, supports later. Now I'm thinking about this. Uh, what I will be doing? I don't have intention to tell you right now, sorry. I will uh, maybe in some minutes, okay? But I need to change something here. Let me just bring my ruler and my pencil or a pen and a paper. Uh, I need to, mm, to take some uh, dimension. I already say that this is 8 cm. So first level 8 centimeters, 8 centimeters. Then here, from the 8 centimeters up here, even if I don't have my glasses, I think I can uh, see through it. Okay, this is 18 centimeters. I will go, let's say, up to 17 centimeters, okay, in 8. Okay, so I have 8 plus 17 centimeters to do something. Yes, I will do something here. Not too big, not too small, but I will do absolutely something here. And so, let's go. I will change, little change of scenario as always, and I will do something dangerous. Bye. Thrill seeker. I am literally a thrill seeker right now. Sorry for the background noise, but here I have my old pot with almost boiling water in there. Then I have some tool, etc. Uh, I have it here and I will move the camera right now because uh, I don't want the pot to be visible right now, but, okay, here I have my thermomoldable plastic. What is a thermomoldable plastic? I've used it already last season. Uh, it is a plastic that when uh, submerged into boiling water, become soft, moldable. Uh, this plastic granules here I have in this bag, sorry, I've hid the brand here. I have some uh, plastic uh, granules there. Once I immerge them in the water, they will turn from white to transparent and they will glue one to the other and the plastic will come very, very moldable, uh, moldable and endable because I will use my hand, yes, with hot boiling water. That's why I told you some minutes ago 
that I will be doing something very dangerous. I risk to burn myself. But, oh, okay, I need to do it. Here I have some uh, perimeter I marked with some center in here. Then I have this piece of uh, wood there. It is exactly 25 centimeters. Here we go. No, 24 centimeters, sorry. Uh, it is the maximum height I will need to go uh, in order to have this piece I'm doing here, this uh, object here, uh, getting properly into the space I want. The part is uh, getting uh, very noisy and it will be very noisy for the next few uh, minutes. So I will start, then I will probably cut the, um, the audio, I will uh, mute the audio and I will work, I don't know if I will work uh, and I will show you fast forward at maximum speed or if I'm going with normal speed with some music in the background, I will not comment it. Uh, I need, here I have one kilo of uh, moldable plastic. I don't know if I have enough here and uh, I will work. <laughs> I w don't want to tell you what I'm doing. Maybe it will be clear in, let's say, one hour, one hour and a half. Uh, it's already half past 6 p.m. I will work until dark. Um, so uh, I will wait for some minutes. I've set the um, the temperature there, and I have no uh, live flame there. I just have an old uh, heater, an old electric heater there. No flame at all here, and I will go. So uh, a little pause here, We're waiting for the water to boil. <laughs> yes, I forgot to tell you one thing. Um, the plastic, once, because, once it is transparent uh, and moldable, I have around 14-15 minutes to uh, work on it before it harden once again and become once again uh, white, pure white, okay? So, I need to work fast, not that fast, but fast. Okay, the water is finally boiling, let me just move the camera a little. Okay, right there, and I will show you just for the first time. Okay, I will pour some of the granules into the hot boiling water. Okay, and I don't know if you can see, but they are already turned. They have already turned transparent. Now I will move them a little. I don't think this is enough. So I will add some more granules. Sorry, I, I swear this is not a cooking lesson.
Okay, now the dangerous part I need to Okay, now the dangerous part, I need to take the plastic there and work on it. Okay. Sorry, I forgot the support there. Now I have the support. Still need to set a little more plastic steel to uh, transparent, but this first part is done. I will continue with some other thing there. Okay, and I will use this. As uh, uh, as dimension, okay. Uh, let's go. I will pour some more. And with this, one kilogram of multiple plastic is done. So let's measure here. Here we have 15 centimeters. Okay, this is the rate. I still miss the um, the width. And this will be the width. Let's check. Yes, the width.
of a styrofoam uh, expanded and extruded here. I will try something crazy right now. So as you have seen, the temperature uh, of the uh, molded plastic isn't enough to uh, mold the styrofoam here. So experiment done. Okay, I know I'm not telling you anything and it, it's driving you crazy, but this is how I want to do it. but I simply added these, those four pieces of styrofoam, I super glued them there uh, and they have an height of two centimeters, okay? I just need to do a quick test now and now you will understand surely what I'm doing. I'm not telling the name right now, this is simply a test. I need to test something. Okay, here I have a mini pump. Let's say I will put it to minimum. Okay, for now. Uh, okay, mini pump here. Uh, 220 volts mini pump. Simply uh, need to um, uh, connect it to the sector and it will work. I need to fill this container with some water and I will check if it is waterproof for the first time then some test with the pump here at minimum uh, some water Okay, some more water. Okay, let's check. Not enough power, guys. Okay, 
I change it. It is uh, 11 p.m., so four and a half hours later, uh, I have my little thing here working. Uh, I also add the... Uh, maybe I can do this, maybe I can do that. No, you will see it once I, I will do the final recap. Anyway, I added some more path to the water here. Uh, the water is flowing. I don't have any water spill. Yes, those are uh, the tests I made to, um, to test everything, but I don't have any leaking. Okay, I don't have any water leaking. Uh, I still need to fix the pump there. Uh, and everything and so much more work but the, the thing here is working uh, something else to say no i will have to cover it to mask the path here with some of the plastic here or maybe something else then before uh, putting it at work i will need to uh, paint everything three, four more, maybe five layers, and then uh, I will need to lack everything with some uh, lacquer, <laughs> obviously, with some transparent lacquer. Otherwise, each uh, color will uh, be washed by uh, the water here, especially in the um, container down there. I don't think it is too much different from the original form I wanted, okay, so this is the middle and this is the result, okay, so no, nothing, <coughs> not too different, uh, a little, uh, just a little noise here and there, but the water is here. I added uh, many, many uh, small rocks here on the front and you will see because you need to think about uh, gravity. Each time I have, here I have almost 20 centimeters of eight and the water uh, from that level. Just listen, okay? If I'm perturbing the flow there, the water will spill everywhere and the noise will augment. So I need to, the water to be focused on certain points and avoid the uh, water getting with the enormous splash on the on the water on the surface level there, otherwise noise, uh, water splitting everywhere. Just look, okay. I have some water splitting everywhere. Uh, like this, the water will flow. It is a good effect. I see the water flowing throughout the small rocks, and it doesn't make too much too much noise. I left this little thing here filled with water for 12 hours without any leaking at all, so it is waterproof. I did some more thing in the meantime. I added these two, I don't know if you can see them here. I added these two, one here and one here. I, I shaped the uh, wood screw there and I've uh, sealed them with some of my plastic that I will use to secure the pump here uh, on the uh, bottom of the container. Yes, I have uh, a way to fix them, but this is not very smooth, so I need to use uh, some zip ties and fix it to the bottom there. Then I added here, with the same technique I've seen using, uh, another uh, wall here on the right, 
and here on the left okay still need to be painted then i added some more rocks here and there here there and obviously these need to be painted if you are wondering because i haven't shown you how the water will come through each of the two uh, section here i added these two holes when i was uh, first doing it i left the one hole here and one hole there one on each side so the water can get from behind to forward okay from back to uh, for front i haven't touched anything here and so uh, these need to be painted obviously but i have two smooth surface i will use uh, uh, and we make and i so i will make a, a very noisy 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 sounds uh, some work with a uh, tool with my Dremel tool here and I will try to rough rough a little bit the surface here and there on the front here even if this will be hided from the sea uh, I need to work on it not the <clears throat> bottom here because I will uh, have paint I have to paint everything then I will add some rocks but I need to work on the uh, on some surface there uh, the rock i can't have rock too smooth so i will prepare my dremel tool and i will work with some music uh, because these will be very very noisy like i don't know here it is how i will work I need my magnifying glasses. So let's get to work and have some music. <laughs> Now, there is no more smooth surface here and there, also here. I didn't want to ruin the, mm, the flow here, so I haven't done uh, too much work here on this uh, section here. Uh, just uh, some carving here and there. But underneath here, I've worked on the surface. Uh, and I have no more smooth surface. This will be more uh, point out with the painting because right now you can't appreciate the difference between the mm, holes and what is protruding etc etc uh, as always <laughs> it needs some painting done i haven't worked here simply because here i will have some rocks some uh, big pebbles some small rocks and here, two thin surfaces to uh, work on, but this is not regular. I've worked on it in order to get some bumps here and there. So once it has been painted, uh, it will not be uh, smooth. And here too. Uh, so uh, I've tried here because I haven't, I hadn't uh, a very thin um, 
surface there but I had a hole now but anyway this will be hided so um, no need to uh, cover it and this will be painted I have a lot of uh, debris there oops uh, because the, um, the tool here uh, work on the plastic it marked the plastic so even the tool get tricky to use sometimes and a piece of uh, uh, plastic everywhere because it <laughs> it works and it eliminates sometimes it it um, eliminates some pieces of uh, plastic i had to go around here then here then here then come back here because the with the tool uh, the friction made the plastic um, <clears throat> molded once again and too soft and impossible to work i need a good balance of hard and soft to work uh, this way so i made each time uh, back forward back forward and this is how it has been uh, worked uh, some painting now i will start with some painting first i need to clean everything inside here because i don't want anything uh, to be there in the uh, bottom. Uh, see you in just some seconds for some paint. Right. Let's proceed with some black. And obviously, guys, I will not paint the back here. Useless to paint here the back because it won't be in plain sight. I will just paint what he is uh, uh, in front view. Okay. Down the drain, I cut you out the picture frame, and now I'm wishing you could hold my hand. I told myself, Don't call again, cause he ain't worth the trouble. And but now I want you more than I can. First layer of black done, first layer of brown done. Let me show you. Now you can maybe see what I intended when I said I wanted some rough surface there, okay? Uh, the black is still visible on the back, uh, as always, here too, some black, in, in the uh, bottom here too, some black, here and there. And uh, with the first layer brown, the uh, the perimeters, the uh, borders are protruding uh, now, okay? Uh, and this is the outcome. I will not continue right now because I need to, to check if it fits where I need it to be placed. Here, I don't have these uh, formation, these uh, strange rock formation here because here I will have the rocks, okay? So let's go and see if it fits where it needs to be placed. Part 11 of the 2021 series is about to end. So here is my final recap. And once again, I will start with the ancient Greek park. I wanted people to be much more safer walking here all along the wall. So I made some balusters and rays and columns some days ago, at least for me. Uh, some minutes ago for you and please look I needed to match the two hand rails there so don't be afraid to paint repaint then paint over then paint over once again if it suits your needs I think I painted the hand rails uh, baluster and steps of the twin stairs at least five or more times so Mm, it isn't uh, ruining anything. The painting doesn't ruin anything. Uh, maybe it is time consuming, but it will help you um, achieve what you have intention to do without having uh, two different colors on such clothes and rails and balusters. So, oops, something has fall down. So here it is the result on the twin stairs and here is the result on the uh, first level balusters and end rays, okay, with the columns. Oh, by the way, the other two columns I made, I positioned them there, one here and one there, okay? They were needed there, so I made six columns here for the 
uh, ancient Greek plaque and two more columns I've added right there, okay? And I think it's better that way and it uh, will uh, make the continuity with the um, <clears throat> battlements there without having to add anything more. Uh, so, uh, balusters are done, here everything is done, and now I fix it here, now everything is fixed, exception for the two lateral big statues there for Athena and Mars here. I still haven't fixed them, and <laughs> that is the one that has just fall down because I went over it with my uh, camera but the small columns there and the fences here are uh, fixed there. I will not fix the statue and here the column. Uh, it seems that it is not vertical, but it is vertical, okay? It is absolutely vertical, uh, it's just an effect. And uh, mm, here we go, everything is fixed, not moving, okay? And the nun can uh, walk through, walk by without problems, and even if Jimmy is uh, crying, is uh, shouting at her, Hey, nan, oops! <laughs> yeah, it will, if she will not fall down. Okay, uh, then what I did up there, okay, so I've fixed some of the supports there, one here and one there. I've added my little thing here, okay, and I made a hole matching the the perimeter of this little container here um, on the um, on the fourth and half level there in order to have the uh, container completely hidden under the level. I will surely add some more thing. And here is the front view uh, with just uh, uh, some black and some brown. And oh yes, I needed, I had to add these more three centimeters because otherwise I, uh, it will not fit, it will have not fitted under the uh, um, North Pole level here simply because when I take some the dimension, when I took the dimensions, uh, I forgot I forgot to uh, count this eight here for the um, the here <laughs> sorry those uh, little uh, pieces there I added in order to facilitate the water flowing in the right direction uh, the path for the water so I uh, had three more centimeters and then I will need to have something else here. But this is still the beginning. Oh yes, I can still remove the uh, rocks there and I can replace them right there. This is not the final configuration. I will need to check once uh, everything has been taken, uh, locked and everything else uh, because they need to be uh, fixed in place uh, with the water falling down so and not having any splashes at all. Without the rocks, as I told you, the water will go down at least 19 centimeters here and will make a big splash with water uh, splitting everywhere. So the, the water here will go gently on top of the first rock, then on the second, then on the third. And just this section here will be pure plain uh, water. The rest, the water will go gently on top of the rocks there. Uh, just to color and please take, you see that without lacquer I've already uh, make, made a mess here, the color has already, be, has already gone here because one layer of black plus one layer of brown it's not enough then I will need to lock everything. Maybe this is too, um, too, uh, too low I don't think, but uh, I will see once I have completed uh, everything. Um, the rest, I haven't touched anything to the rest. Oh, yes, I... Uh, uh, no, not nothing. Uh, here, I've already told you what I made. Okay, the rest, uh, I didn't touch anything, okay? Um, oh, yes, I also added the three more centimeters there. Uh, on the uh, big slope there, 
that will uh, help me get from this level here up to the North Pole. Uh, this should be in contact with this section here. I will do. But if I added three more centimeters there, I needed to add three more centimeters there. But uh, I haven't yet started working on the right side. Uh, and I will have a big amount of work there to hide everything. Maybe I will use some um, polyurethane foam there to make something and to hide the borders. Still don't know yet. N not very easy to work with uh, uh, polyurethane foam. Okay, guys? Um, now, or pff, next time, I will be doing surely something more. Still don't know if that has been a good new inputs or bad new inputs. We'll see. I certainly was not in a good mood when I filmed my intro to this part 11 of the 2021 series. It was tangible and I think every one of you had perceived it clearly. When I have three, four, maybe five days in a row with simply a pure blank screen in front of my eyes without any ideas popping up, without intuition on how to proceed, I tend to get really scared and I panicked. And that was uh, the situation, my situation when I started this part 11. Yes, I had some minimum new inputs that helped me build what I have there in the left corner up there, but I wasn't sure that the new inputs will guide me through the correct path to enhance my project, my 2021 project, and I'm still there, not completely convinced. I'm trying to uh, get uh, along with my new inputs, uh, still uh, wait for more inputs to come, but I'm less panicked and I'm less scared. Uh, and one little thing I have to say, that up there is a little waterfall. Please, don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish, see you next time.